So this is my C programming language tutorial and as with every programming language I want to show you how to make your first hello world program. We are going to type it in the developer area which you can find right here. Uh, I will be using code blocks. Uh, in this case, you can also use NetBeans, Eclipse, Brackets, or any other software which allows you to run and build or compile your program. Uh, and there's also Microsoft Visual Studio and so on. The list goes to beyond, to be honest. Hello World is the simplest program used for the beginning of every coding language to show the user how programming actually functions. Now this show us our program, that should be the first hello world program and it should be executable or compilable. So as you can see we printed hello world on our screen here on our console window. Include stdo dot H uh, is an instruction. A C program always begins with an instruction. STD means standard, I means input, and O means output. Next step is the main function. So the main function is determined right here. So we know that every program written in C uh, must have at least one function. This is an integer function. This is the data type from the function. This is the name of the function. Um, the brackets used here are actually the beginning and the ending of the function. We open and close the content we want to uh, give to our computer or a command to give to our computer. Everything that, that stands inside of these brackets is a part of our function. Now we always need to give the comments which are understandable to the computer to be able to run our program. Print F function is a function which we are able to, as the name says, print a text on our console. That's what we just previously did. We printed hello world on our console window. We are also able to write comments in our C language. So there are one row comments which are being typed in with two slashes and we can type our text there like this is a one line comment for example now if we want to type it in more lines we have to do it like this and then type our text in like a slash and a star and then a star and a slash to end the comment this is a line com now to end it we first have to type the star and then the slash we use comments to make our code more understandable to the reader of the written code but not to the executor it doesn't affect our execution of the code so if we start our code again run it 
we get just hello world we don't get the comments listed in the execution process of the code now return zero which is written right here must be written or some compilers actually don't need it written because it's understandable for some compilers that it has to return zero because integer always expects uh, an integer data type return. So that should be it for the first program in C. Um, this will be the first video. Be sure to subscribe and follow me for the next video.